Hello dear students, welcome back at your own channel, Max Villa. Here we are dealing and discussing the academic parts of mathematics, grade 11. Before starting the academic part, let's pray for each and everybody regarding the COVID-19. We should be what? Stand strictly against COVID-19. The virus which is spreading a lot, we have to take care. So, in this definitely a social awareness is also needed that part government is doing. But we have to follow the guidelines which are not given by the government. Okay? So, the thought is what? The charity begins at home. So, first I will do, then I will suggest others to do. Okay? So, use of mask. Sanitization, these are what the compulsory thing, the distance, this is also what a compulsory thing. We should follow this all. And it, it is just, it is not only for you, it is for your family, for your society, for your nation also. Okay? So if I will take care, then definitely I will be able to or I will be able to suggest the other one too. Okay? So this is what? Uh, kind request and kind suggestions to you all and kind suggestion to you all that these three things we have to follow that is mass, then sanitization and the second thing is what the distance okay do not gather together in any of the functions and all okay try to avoid this year next year we will celebrate in a double moon okay so now let's come back on the academic part this is what the last exercise of the chapter number 3 that is trigonometric function, miscellaneous exercise. And here the sums are like that 3.3, 3.4, and so on. Sum number 4, same as the sum number 3, means what on same track. Now let's see cos x minus cos y. Okay, so here what we have to do? We have to use, okay, or using cos a minus cos Okay, and then we use cos a plus cos b. Now we will be using cos a minus cos b. So it will become minus 2 sin a plus b upon 2 sin a minus b upon 2. And then next time it is what? Sin a minus sin b. So it will become 2 into cos a plus b upon 2 into sin a minus b upon 2. Okay. Now using this in the LHS part we will come to know. And since uh, recently we have done that sum, so easy to understand. Cos x and cos y. So it will become minus 2 sin x plus y by 2 into sin x minus y by 2 square. Then same thing here, 2 cos x plus y by 2 and sin x minus y by 2 and square. A means what? X. B means what? Y. So now, what can you do? It is multiplication, so you can use the square one. So instead of bracket, minus 2 the square is what? 4. Then sin square x plus y upon 2 and then sin square x minus y by 2 plus 4 cos square x plus y by 2 into sin square x minus y by 2. Try to find out the common thing. Okay? That is sin square x minus y and then this one. That is sin and this sin square. These are what the common one. Okay? So instead of that, we will take 4 also. Okay. So it will become 4 sin square x minus y upon 2. Then here it will be sin square x plus y by 2. Okay. Then plus cos square x plus y by 2. Okay. Again we got sin square plus cos square. So since sin square theta plus cos square theta 
is equal to 1. So we can use it. So it will become 4 sine square x minus y upon 2 into 1, which is nothing but 4 sine square x minus y by 2, which is your required RHS. Okay? So easily we have done that sum. Simple. Now next one. Here also what? Sin x plus sin 3x plus sin 5x plus sin 7x. So what we will rearrange LHS. Okay, and then you will see that what can be done. So rearrange, I would like to write it here. Sin 7x with sin x. Then sin 5x and then sin 3x. Or to make you understand here. Okay, this we are rearranging. So this is what we are LHS. So if we will uh, now sign A plus sign B and again sign A plus sign B. So what we will do? We use sign A plus B. What it becomes? It becomes to sign A plus B upon 2 and cos A plus B cos a minus b upon 2. So, it becomes 7x is what? Your a. a is equal to 7x, b is equal to x. Okay, only x. Right. So, it will become 2 sine. a plus b means 7x plus 1x, 8x, 8x divided by 2 is equal to 4x directly I am writing. Okay. And then cos. 7x minus 1x is what? 6x. 6 divided by 2 is what? 3x. Right? Now, similarly here also. That is for this 2 also we will be using. Now, 2 sin. A plus B means 5x. A is equal to what? 5x. B is equal to what? 3x. So, 5x plus 3x, 8x. 8x divided by 2 is what? Again, you will be getting what? 4x into cos. A minus B is what? 5x minus 3x is 2x upon 2. That is only x. Can you get some common number? Yes, as if you see, that is 2 sin 4x. So what is remaining? The remaining thing is what? Cos 3x plus cos x. Now, here again, we have to use one more formula that is what? Use cos a plus cos b that will give you 2 cos a plus b by 2 a and cos a minus b by 2. So this will be as it is 2 sin 4x inside the bracket now 2 cos a means 3x b means x. So 3x plus 1x 4x 4x divided by 2 that is 2 cos 2x and then into cos a minus b means 3x minus 1x is what 2x so 2x upon 2 that is x only so cos x now what you can do you can multiply this 2 by this 1 so it will become 2 to the 4 then cos x I am writing first we are writing the sum and then cos 2x and then sin 4x which is nothing but your required RHS 2 to the 4, then cos x first, then cos 2x, then sin 4x. Nothing but rearrangement. Okay, so this is what your answer. Now, let's see the next sum. Again, which is simple to understand. Sin a plus sin b, sin a plus sin b, cos a plus cos b, cos a plus cos b. It means we have to use this two formula. Number 1, sin a plus sin b, which will give you 2 sin a plus b by 2 into cos a minus b by 2. The next one cos a plus cos b. So what is the formula? Cos a plus cos b is equal to 2 into cos a plus b upon 2 and cos a minus b upon 2. This is what the formula. So use it in this numerator and denominator. How it will change for this? It will be what? Sin A. A is equal to 7x, B is equal to 5x. So it will become 2 sin. 
a plus b, 7 plus 5, 12, 12 divided by 2, that is 6x, okay, into cos, 7 minus 5 is what, 2x, 2x upon 2 is what, only x, okay, so plus, now sin 9x and 3x, so again it will be 2 sin 9 plus 3, 12 divided by 2, 6x, 9 minus 3, 6, 6 divided by 2, that is what? 3x. Okay? And then total divided by 2 cos a plus b. 7 plus 5 is what? 12. 12 divided by 2 is what? 6. Okay? Into cos a minus b. 7 minus 5 2x. 2x upon 2 is what? x. Okay? Plus then 2 cos 9 plus 3 12 divided by 2 is what 6 and then cos 9 minus 3 6 divided by 2 is 3x ok now what can be done can you find out the common that is 2 sin 6x ok 2 sin 6x 2 sin 6x common here ok I am just writing it for you take common now ok so from numerator we are getting 2 sin 6x inside what is remaining cos x plus cos 3x divided by 2 cos 6x inside we are getting cos x plus cos 3x bracket we cancel with the bracket 2 will get cancelled with the 2. Sin upon cos is what? 10. 6x which is equal to your RHS. Okay. So hopefully you have understood the sum. Now let's go to the next one. Now the next sum that is sum number 7. Sin 3x plus sin 2x minus sin x is equal to 4 sin x cos x by 2 into cos 3x by 2. Let's prove it now. So the LHS is sin 3x plus sin 2x minus sin x. Now here two things are there. What we will do is separate this term and this term. We'll think separately on this two. We know that sin 3x can be written as 2 into sin 3x by 2 into cos 3x by 2 and we will use formula sin a minus sin b for the next term, next two terms that is what 2 into cos a plus b upon 2 and then sin a minus b upon 2. Okay, so just use it and then the LHS will become sin 3x will become 2 into sin 3x by 2 and cos 3x by 2 and plus then using this formula it will become 2 cos a plus b that is 2x plus 1x 3x by 2 and then into sin a minus b means 2x minus 1x is x upon 2. Then can we get something common here that is cos 3x and cos 3x. Okay. Even we can get 2 as common. So this 2 also we are getting common. So 2 cos 3x by 2. What is left inside? It is sin 3x by 2 plus sin x by 2. Now what we can do? We can use what we can use now? Sin a plus sin b that is equal to what? Sin a plus sin b is equal to 2 sin a plus b by 2 into cos a minus b by 2. So if you will use the sum you will get the form as 2 cos 3x upon 2 and then this will become 2 sin 
a plus b that is 3x upon 2 plus x upon 2 upon 2. Okay, that is 2 sin a plus b by 2. Okay, so this will become 3x plus 1x 4x divided by 2, 2x, 2x divided by 2. This whole will be what? Only x. Is that okay? In short, I am writing. So this will become x and then into cos a minus b that is 3x upon 2 minus x by 2. Again, I will try to show you that is 3x by 2 minus x by 2 upon 2. Now 3x minus 1x 2x, 2 and 2 will get cancelled. So x upon 2. Here what it will remain? x by 2. Okay. Now what? 2 cos 3x as it is now. So what we do? We will multiply this 2 with this 2. So what we get? 4. Okay. Then we will write 4 sin x. Then cos x by 2. And at last cos 3x by 2. Which is nothing but your required RHS. Okay. Now. Sum number 7 is also over. In this, the sums are got very important. Now, the next few sum that is, I want to give you as over that is sum number 8, sum number 9, and sum number 10. Only three sums, and happily we have finished the chapter. For practice, I will suggest you practice 3.3, 3, uh, 3, 3 3.4, and the miscellaneous exercise. Simple sums are there. It needs practice only. So, hopefully, we are doing our best at your own channel, Maths Mela. So, please wait for the next video at your own channel. Okay? And be at home. Do not gather. Do not be in the group. Try to maintain distance. Use mask and use sanitizer. So, be at home. Be at happy. So, be at home. Be happy and keep safe. Thank you. Have a good day.